back here on the program. So much fun to have Don Newman in the red chair. Don Newman, oh, iconic and memoirs I want to explore. But Don used to always, you know, welcome to the broadcast. That was Don's sign off. If you go to Strombo.com, you'll see a list of other memorable sign offs and that and Murray Dowie's famous hockey memory. Those two guys are well of information and more importantly than having the information in them, an ability to recall it. We all like to think we're good at memory even though we know that we're not. For example, what color tie was Don wearing? Do you remember what he was wearing in the interview? Blue. The only reason I know that is because I wrote it down. <laughs> because I wouldn't remember it on any other way. And look, you know, memory is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, right? How you put things together, how much do you remember, how much do you fill in the blank, and that's what I want to do on the pedal. <laughs> oh my God, Patrick McKenna's here. Oh my God, Patrick McKenna's here. Hey man, how are you? I'm great. So nice to see you, buddy. Good to see you. So good to see you. Thank you. So, down in the U.S., uh, since the 90s, there's a group uh, called the Innocence Project that's overturned hundreds of wrongful convictions, 73% of which were based on faulty eyewitness testimony, that is to say, inaccurate memories. You know, that is the least reliable form of, it's that guy, <laughs> recognize him, right? Have you ever had a memory, hopefully not one that convicted somebody, but a memory <laughs> that you were sure was true and then later found out, maybe not? Dumb? Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you're like telling someone a story and you're like adding on to theirs. And I was telling them about a fireman that I saw that like when they pulled up to the actual fire, there's a car still parked there and they smashed both windows through the fire lane and just dragged the hose through. And my buddy looks at me, he's like, isn't that backdraft? And I was like, yeah, that's backdraft. <laughs> yeah. I made a mistake. That's why Kurt Russell was in that, man. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> I thought it was really Kurt Russell was in Sudbury with me on Friday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is there, is there a particular time where, you know, in your life where you can point back and go, I don't remember anything from that era? Like, I'd say from 29 to 41. I don't remember a lot of the 30s. People have to be very specific with me. I can't go, oh, when I was 33, I... Was I ever 33? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> well, listen, I had Alice Cooper here once, and Cooper said that he, I think he remembers New Year's Eve 68, and he remembers New Year's Day 70. He, 1969 doesn't exist <laughs> oh my God. in his memory. Oh. It could happen. Maybe you missed some good cars. You really good. did. <laughs> now, there were probably other reasons. Is there, is there like a period in your life where you just can't remember anything? Yeah, one to six. Who, who remembers all of that? <laughs> <laughs> is there a memory you would love to forget? Um... Yeah, not a lot of people know this, but when I was a kid, like, I have some, I think most people have had, like, regrettable hairstyles, but I was a kid, I, I had a rat tail, and at the time, I thought that was really cool. It was all the way down my back. Right. <laughs> but at the same time, I also had a mullet. I was... No, why didn't anyone support me? <laughs> there was a lot of sympathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, both. No, well, I obviously didn't know that it was too much for people to handle to rock two awesome right. hairstyles at one time. Yeah. But I, I. That's that's what the problem was. <laughs> <laughs> Is it something you don't want to forget? Oh, your girlfriend's birthday for sure, which I have done, and I have I've I've had that panic moment. You're like, oh no, I forgot their birthday. And then I get flowers, and I'll be like, oh, I'll just take care of it with dinner or something. And then you show up, and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot your birthday. Well, number one, I forgot she doesn't like flowers. And number two, I'm remembering an ex-girlfriend's birthday. <laughs> this is not a good place to be. Wow. It was great knowing her. She was great. <laughs> Dude, that is one of the worst things you can ever experience. Welcome to me. <laughs> How about you, something you never want to forget? Um, this morning, I uh, had a discussion with my wife, and it ended with, she said, no, you're right. Dude, you put that in the iPhone and you save it. I just walked away, man. Just let this, let, don't move, don't blink, don't show fear. Just walk away. Walk away. Hold it. That's forever now. Yeah, but remember that time I was right? I could use that. <laughs> man, okay, look, I go by Dom, but my full name's Dominic, mm -hmm. and I'll correct you. But if I don't correct you, that means I don't like you. And if you come back to me a year later, be like, Dominic! I'm like, oh, I don't remember you, but I hate you. <laughs> That's I still system, remember man. that I hate you inside. Amazing. All right, we're gonna put their memories to the test and maybe you can learn from it as well when the panel continues right after this. That's right, my friends, we have a live studio audience and it's a lot of fun. It's even better too, because my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. Here on the program, we're talking about memory. I know that a lot of you at home can relate to this in a tragic way, the idea of not remembering something. Something so simple as, honey, what color are my eyes? <laughs> so I want to play a memory game with you. I'm going to show you a picture of some random Canadian, a Joe Blow, regular schlub off the street. Okay, uh -oh. I'm just going to show you this picture. Uh, let's say this guy right here. Okay, so take a look at that guy. 
Now wow. wait, now wait. Give it, look at it. Five, four, three, two. All right, okay. Get rid of it. Lose it. All right. What okay. was he wearing? Uh, cream sweater, blue stripe, red on top. Oh, nice job. Do you remember all that? Where was he? He's Patrick McKenna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where? Oh, that, on the street? Oh. Queen Street, maybe? No, well, no, that Calgary. So Calgary is okay. awesome. Thank you. It we, must be Queen Street in Calgary. We, we took that picture. There must be. We took that picture. Do you, <laughs> did, uh, did that guy uh, have? How, what was his facial hair like in that moment? Uh, a little, a little bit of stubble, mm -hmm. like now with the glass sunglasses. Are you right? sure? Or are you guessing? I, because I'm confident. Let's take a look at it again. You guys got it yeah. wrong. That was the actual yeah. photo that we showed you. You guys absolutely suck. Wow. How about a hand for the panel, everybody? <laughs> Patrick McKenna, by the way, Mr. Busy these days. He's on Remedy, which is on Global. Also, Hard Rock Medical, which is a lot of fun. All right, Dom Pare, not Dominic. Has a Twitter feed that will make you laugh. At D-P-A-R-E. Paychen's got a podcast you got to check out at paychen.com. And some of the best photographs of food you're going to see on her Instagram page. Good things, Canada.